Hey everybody, so this is a uh, rehousing video. I did try to make this, this is my second attempt. Uh, I'll put the blooper up uh, later on, but uh, the other centipede I have over here, Gallopinensis, decided to uh, crawl out of the container because I had the lid off and onto my back on my butt and it scared me pretty bad. Uh, I wasn't expecting the sharp little legs to dig into my back. It didn't uh, envenomate or anything like that. I just grabbed her, pulled her off, and put them back in. Well, I don't know if it's a her or he yet. It is pre-molt, so I can't sex it yet. I'm going to let this one know that I'm here just by touching it real quick. Wake it up. We're going to go ahead and pull it out. This is uh, what they call Scolopendra species robusta. Um, sometimes referred to as a giganti, sometimes as a uh, Gallopinensis. I don't know what it currently is uh, classified as. Obviously, to me, it looks just like a Scolopendra Gallopinensis. But, uh, sorry there, it said low battery, uh, but I do think it, um, they are all giganti in my opinion. Um, this is a super docile centipede. These, this whole, uh, species that I've worked with, all of them, uh, seem to be pretty docile. This one's really docile that I have here that crawled on me. Uh, my female's docile, and this red one's real docile too. Um, I'm gonna actually try to crossbreed these. Uh, it's gonna be... Um, my main focus over the next year. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Hopefully I can get some sooner than that. Um, now, like I said, I can't sex this Gallopinensis that I have in here because it is primo. I'll open it up so you can see. Um, it's pretty fat. Yeah, there it is. Alright, now this one's crawling up my arm, so I'm going to let it lightly go down onto the container here. There we go. Uh, get it turned around and back on the right track. There we go. We'll go ahead and get it picked up. Put it in its new enclosure. It's got an enclosure set up for it right here. Put it down in there. Well, if it'll go down in there. It's probably just going to crawl up my arm like they like to do. Alright. See, I think I can get it to turn around. There we go. It's going back down. Alright, I'm going to try to get some close-ups of it here so everybody can really see. And if you own a uh, Gallopinensis, look at it real close. And look at this centipede and compare the two. Tell me what you think. The terminal legs really give it away, in my opinion. Uh, so does the head, um, of course. If you look closely at the antenna, of course, they are uh, two different colors. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I just had my uh, surgery. I'm still a little congested here. Um, it's a very, very slight difference, whereas on the Gallopinensis, it's obviously blue and yellow. This one is red, and then when you look at it under the light really, really closely, it turns to a orange. There is a separation. Or, sorry, it's yellow, and it turns to orange at the end. Anyways, uh, that's my little video on them, rehousing and whatnot. Thanks for watching, guys.